I just wanted to come in live today to say hi. I'm just sat watching nature. So I'm just coming in to say hello and to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And I want to use this time. If you're watching me live though, please say hey. But I wanted to come in just to say hey and to use this time for anyone to ask me anything. Does anyone want to ask me anything? Does anyone, is anyone curious about anything? You know, use this time to ask me. You know, I'll have it like, just ask me anything you want to know and anything you're struggling with. And the reason I, I named this live, thank you, thank you, thank you, was because it's the whole state of gratitude that we have to be in every day to see the miracles because gratitude really does create miracles. Hey, Ashley. Um, so yeah, like all day, every day I'm saying thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm doing my gratitude every single day, like without fail, like it's a non-negotiable thing. You know, how many, how many kind of rituals or practices have you started? And after a couple, you know, like a week or so, you just give up. You know, you end up just going, oh, I'll just miss a day because gratitude really, really comes down to momentum and doing it every single day. And I really feel gratitude is the magic word. It really is the magic word for everything because, you know, as humans, we tend to complain a lot. Like we complain, you know, on, on, a, on a daily basis, you know, even if it's the weather, you know, oh, it's a crap day, it's raining, but we don't actually look at the good in the day. Like yesterday was, it was a rainy day and I looked out the window and I just said, I'm thankful for the rain today because the plants need it. The animals need it. Hey, Whitney. So it's changing the way you look at things. And it's like the amazing Wayne Dyer says, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And on a daily basis, when you're out and about, you see the world differently. And not only do you feel better in yourself because you're actually looking at all the amazing things in your life. All I've been doing while we've been in isolation is doing a lot, a lot of practices, a lot of rituals, a lot of inner work, deep stuff, healing, gratitude. Like I've been focusing so much on gratitude. Hey, Laura. And it really is the powerful tool to get you to the next step in life because Instead of saying, oh, I don't have this, I don't have this, you know, you need to look at like, so for example, one of the, the practices I've been doing is picking a negative situation and listing 10 things that you're grateful for about it. So, you know, what's the one thing we can all write down now, a negative situation, this pandemic, you know, it has been a, a, a big, hard situation for us all, but I found the time to write 10 things that I was grateful for about this pandemic. So instead of waking up moaning about, the pandemic look at the things to be grateful for or you know any negative situation that you're in you know think about it and write about all the positives that are in it because there really is so much good and so much to be thankful for within the world and that's that's the shift it really is the shift it's just your perception of life is a complete shift and as humans we're a lot of us are, are in are in fear mindset all the time you know and, and fear feeds our ego and we, you know, we need our ego because our ego stops us from, you know, proper danger. So like, you know, if there was a car coming towards you, your ego is the one that says, move out of the way. Like, because, you know, it's the fight or flight. So your ego is there to protect you. But then we, we the fear of what people think, fear of getting on stage, fear of opinions, you know, fear of things that don't that shouldn't be fearful about it's just because our ego's there and our ego's talking to us and it's going you're not good enough for this you're not good enough for that that is where we need to pull it apart because we need to use the ego for actually life-threatening things um fight or flight as we call it and too many of us use fear in the wrong way you know we, we use it in the wrong way so what i'm trying to get at is is that we need to be coming from a place of love and not fear because fear drives us down into the ground and um, we don't live a purposeful life we live a life of fear and sadness and regret and misery 
and I don't know about you but that doesn't sound like a nice life for me so it's using your higher self trusting yourself you know trusting trusting the goodness in you because all of us have goodness within us and our ego the one who gives us shit all the time we don't want to listen to that because we only want to listen to that when it's going to you know help us in a, a life threatening situation so i want you to just take today or this evening wherever you are and just say thank you to everything you know thank just just get used to saying thank you because we all got taught to be polite we all got taught to say please and thank you but how many of you just got taught to just say thank you for everything in your life like look at the people who pray before they eat that is such an amazing thing to do because you're actually being grateful for what you're about to eat you know and like when we were little you'd laugh at things like that because you thought it was stupid and not cool but it's actually the coolest thing ever it's the coolest thing ever to i've been doing it before i eat my dinner or my lunch i sit and go thank you for this amazing food that i'm about to eat before you make a cup of tea or coffee in the morning i say thank you to the kettle that was just boiled i say thank you to the hot water that well the water that i put in the kettle i say thank you to united utilities who give me the water it all just stems to looking at life differently. You know, I get I run a bath, I say thank you so I have I can have a bath with clean water. Thank you to my, you know, my, my electricity and my gas, you know, so I can cook my food, I can put heating on when it's cold. It really is a shift in your reality. And my advice to you is to use gratitude as the magic word every day. So, excuse me, I want you all to start just, there's such a powerful message behind this. There's just, hey Marie, there's just such a, we need to, so when you're watching the replay on this, like it really is a powerful message. It's just, we want to stay humble because when we're striving for something like we want a nicer house, a nicer car, material things. We're not coming from a humble place, so we have to look at like what is already in our life. You know, a roof over our head, hot water, electricity, clothes, food, water. And we have to stay humble because he who is grateful will be given more to be grateful for, but he who isn't will have it taken away. And that is the most truest and real thing I've ever heard in my life. Because you think if you're not in a state of gratitude, you feel like you're in, in victim mode and you're not, you know, I'm not getting this, I'm not getting that. But when you're in gratitude mode, like I am, things miraculously change. They really do in every, every aspect of your life. And my last thing I want to say is with gratitude comes surrendering. Surrendering to life, letting go of the outcome. Really letting go of the outcome because if you really trust in the universe... If you really trust in you, everything in your life will be shown to you without fail. Because it's true, the universe has you back. But if you really trust in that, everything that is meant for you on your path will miraculously show. Because you have trust, you know, and we have to remember that when we have trust, we just surrender. Because... Have you heard the phrase, you know, what's meant for you won't pass you by? That's what I'm trying to get at. If you if you trust and surrender to the universe, to source, to God, they, what what is meant for you will be shown to you. And it really will. It really, really will. So I was just really called and drawn to come on today. And I've had some really big, you know, realisations because I've had a lot of shifts and I want to help people have shifts, but my main focus is that I'm a healer. I'm a real powerful healer. Like, I really am. Like, I know I've got a healing voice. I've got healing hands. I've got a healing energy. I've got a healing aura. I've got a, everything about me is healing, and I'm not afraid to say that anymore. I would, you know, my ego would stop me saying that because they'd say, you can't say that. You, you're being smug. You, you can't say you're a powerful healer. Who are you to say you're a powerful healer? And I'm like, go away. Ursula, go away. You know, and then Philomena, who's my higher self, comes in and she's like, you are a powerful healer, Pip, and that is your purpose. You know, I'm here to heal people. I'm here to heal people to and, and, and reconnect them with the magic of life because life is so magical. It is so, so magical. 
So I am not afraid anymore to say that I'm a powerful healer because I am. I really am. And I'm working on it. You know, I'm, you know, my ego still creeps in and that's because we're human. You know, everyone's ego creeps in. And the the beauty of it is that we, we learn and we keep meditating. We keep journaling. We keep doing our gratitude. And the ego gets quieter and quieter. So, yeah. I hope you're all having a lovely day. It's the sun's back out now. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the beautiful sun. This is what life's about, is just being in a state of calm, thankfulness, appreciation for life, because life is beautiful. Life is so beautiful. And if you're in a state now where you think life, you know, life is out to get you, life is this, life is that, all you need to do is start looking at what is good in your life and you will start to see it change and gratitude is a lifestyle change it's not just a quick fix you have to be grateful every day you have to do your rituals every day and you will see the changes and I promise you that so I'm going to love you and leave you and I will chat to you all very soon Mwah, lots of love <laughs>